Sir Isaac Newton investigated the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. One of the ways this can be done in a lab is with the setup shown above. In typical experiments, there will be a hanging mass and a cart. And the mass on each of these objects can be varied. Then the acceleration can be determined experimentally by letting the hanging weight fall downward. We want to analyze this system in detail. But first, let's draw force diagrams for the experiment, each time using a different choice of system. We'll assume friction is negligible at this time because the cart is on wheels and the cart can roll fairly freely. Go ahead and draw for yourself what relevant forces might be acting on these three different choices of systems. In the one case, the system is the hanging mass. In another case, we'll have the system be the cart. And then we'll treat the whole setup as the system. Okay, so here's my answers to these free body Okay, so here's my answers to these free body diagrams. When the hanging mass is the system, we need to show the weight of that. When the hanging mass is the system, we need to show the weight of it. I'll call that FG. But there's also a tension in the cable. Now, how big should the tension be? Should it be smaller than FG in length, or the same size as FG, or larger? So in order to reason out an answer for this, we have to consider what will happen when we actually release the system and let the weight fall down. The weight starts at rest while we're holding it. While we're holding on to it, the whole system is in equilibrium. But when we let go, what will happen? Well, I think intuitively we can all agree that the weight will accelerate downward. The very fact that it's accelerating downward lets us know that the force of tension cannot be as large as the force of gravity. So this could be a correct diagram for the hanging mass. Now when the system is the cart, the cart gets pulled by the string. And when it's released, we know that the hanging mass will fall down and the cart will accelerate toward the pulley. What causes the cart to accelerate toward the pulley? There will be a force of tension. And interestingly, it will be just as large as the force of tension on the hanging mass here. The cable will simply transmit the tension, and it will be equal on both ends, assuming the cable has negligible mass, and assuming there's negligible friction in the pulley. Oh, and would there be any other forces acting on the cart here? Yes, there would be a gravitational force pulling downward, and a normal force counteracts that pull of gravity. However, I'm not going to draw those because they're not really relevant to the acceleration of the system. They're going to be just balanced. So I'll leave them off. And now what about if we treat the whole thing as a system? What forces are relevant? There will certainly still be a force of gravity pulling on our hanging mass. And interestingly, there will be a force of tension here. And there's a force of tension here. However, it is conventional in free body diagrams not to draw forces that a system exerts on itself. So see, the tension here, it all exists within the system. 
And for that reason, we actually don't want to draw it. So the only force that matters in this third situation here is the force of gravity. Here are pictures of the results I found on the previous page. In diagram one, why is the magnitude of the force of tension smaller than the weight of the mass? It has to be because the hanging mass is accelerating. And there must be an unbalanced force in order for that to occur. In diagram two, which force is the unbalanced force? That would be the force of tension. In diagram three, why are forces of tension not included in the free body diagram? So we don't draw forces that a system exerts on itself. And in fact, a system cannot exert a net force on itself. Through experimentation, we can determine the acceleration of the cart simply by measuring it, perhaps with a motion detector. We can also determine the acceleration of the hanging mass. How do you think the cart's acceleration compares to the hanging mass's acceleration? So those are going to be the same. We know this because the string between them does not go slack and it does not break. Uh, if they were accelerating at different rates, then the string wouldn't stay taut. The fact that it stays taut and it has tension on it means that they are accelerating with the same rate. 